Hi everybody, welcome to Dynamo Sword Channel. I'm David, and today on Dynamo Sword Channel, I will be presenting the follow-up review for the Dragon King on a Katana. I initially reviewed this sword a little over a year ago, and feel I've had enough experience with this sword to offer this follow-up review. So, how did this Katana perform cutting targets and what is my opinion on its value to you as a potential buyer? Well, stay tuned and we'll find out. Hi and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the cutting footage. As you can see, this katana did very well cutting the various bottles I used in the cutting session. It has a nicely finished edge and the T10 blade appears to be heat treated and forged well. There were no nicks or damage to the blade and the satin finish was not marked or scratched. The Saka and Koshire held up well and there was no movement or looseness in the Suba, Habaki, or Ito. The Sukamaki stayed tight and the overall shape of the Suka was comfortable to wield. The balance and weight of this katana is very light and feels very effortless when transitioning through the various stances and cutting that I used uh, during the cutting session. Overall, this katana was very easy to use and feels durable and well constructed enough for regular use. As such, I would recommend it for anyone looking for a dedicated cutting katana in either a dojo or backyard environment. As far as the sword's fit and finish, this sword has held up exceptionally well over the past year. 
I have used it extensively to practice regular forms of IA and Kata, as well as cut light to medium targets. The sword and all its parts have stayed tight and shown no sign of fault or wear. For example, the Saya has stayed nice and tight with no rattle or looseness in the Koijiri or Kurigata. As mentioned before, the Ito and Tsukamaki have stayed tight and even and there has been no looseness in either the Suba, the uh, Habaki, or other Koshire such as the Minuki or even the Makugi. For the overall price point of this uh, sword uh, being a sub $500 sword, I would definitely recommend the Hana Katana for a nice option for someone looking for a nicely built and attractive sword to both be used and admired. Again, the real highlights to this sword are its fit and finish, but its blade's durability and edge should not be overlooked either. Now there has been some discussion in the comments of the initial review as well as discussion over at Sword Buyer's Guide Forum regarding the durability of the blade due to its more thinner um, profile. Honestly, in my opinion, I am personally not worried about that um, and don't really consider it a con and honestly would trust this katana for regular medium to heavy cutting um, due to its heat treatment and of course its solid fit finish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this follow-up review of the Dragon King Hana Katana. Be sure to like and subscribe, as well as look forward to future cutting sessions with this sword on the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.